Hi. Um, so here's my latest robot. It's a walking robot with uh, some rudimentary machine vision. And uh, I used this pixie. And it's housed in this uh, plastic cover from a device that used to uh, read the uh, sound information from movie film uh, back when the movies were still on film. It's powered by uh, this lithium ion cell. It's the uh, same kind of cell I have in my electric bike. Uh, Samsung E29 18650 cell and uh, the walking is well basically it's a bunch of oscillators and the uh, timing is set with these resistors the uh, antenna is mostly cosmetic at this point and uh, Yeah, on the back side we have three USB ports. This one is for the uh, Pixie, and uh, this one is for programming the uh, Arduino, and this one is for recharging the battery with uh, just a cell phone charger. And uh, Here's the uh, device where I got the uh, plastic cover. The film goes over there, and there's a couple of lenses there that optically read the uh, sound information from the film. Yeah, makes a great robot body. Okay, so the uh, way the robot works is the um, pixie detects colors and combinations of colors. I've got the red set as signature one. This is two. No, three. This is two. So whenever the uh, robot uh, sees number one and two together, uh, it tries to uh, keep it in the middle of the uh, field of vision. So if the uh, let's just pretend the uh, this is what the robot sees. Now it will move forward. If it's here, it will try to turn until it's centered, like so. And when it gets close enough, it will detect that the signature is past a certain uh, threshold in terms of the uh, width and then it looks at the angle of the signature if it's this way it will keep turning until it sees the next one and vice versa if it's turned this way it will turn the other way so the whole deal here is the uh, uh, it should be able to navigate a maze with turns going left and right and so forth. I got the Pixie connected to my computer laptop now. So it detects the uh, color. It's a bit sensitive as to uh, the lighting. So if I turn it like so, it's the blue is too shadowed and it doesn't register. But the um, Pixie does all the image processing and it does it 50 times a second. It's really fast. And to uh, demonstrate, 
unplug it from the computer and turn it on the pixie boots and the uh, red plus green is stop but now the uh, robot sees this red and blue and since it's far away so it's a certain size it just tries to keep it in the center So, uh, at this point we'll maybe go to the uh, uh, workbench and uh, take a look inside. Okay, so the uh, case is held together with these four screws. Just undo those. bottom plate uh, I made it with the laser cutter and this center piece where all the motors are connected that's 3d printed it's the uh, lithium ion cell there's the motors just small Small DC motors with the little reduction gear assembly. Now this cable obviously connects all the motors and the battery and the uh, on-off switch to the uh, main board inside here. So. There's the uh, Pixie. It's connected with this cable to the uh, Arduino and this USB uh, USB cable goes to the back here. And the uh, Don't know if you can see that. That's a two motor walker custom made PCB I made. And they come in pairs. And you combine the two and you get a four motor walker. Here's the uh, uh, battery charge control controller. There's the uh, regulator for uh, getting 5 volts for the uh, Pixie. Oops, the screws falling out. <laughs> 